I'm kind of pissed and sad and disappointed. Uh, hey guys, it is December 10th, 2016. I just left the house to go get something to eat. I don't feel like cooking right now. There's a ton of traffic. I think there's like a convention going on in one of the hotel buildings next to my apartment. I'm wearing the glasses I got in Busan last weekend. It's cold. That's why I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> Sorry I failed at vlogging earlier. As soon as I got to Emart to eat, I kind of just devoured my food. And then I, it was a little too cold for me to be holding around my camera as I walked around. I went to two beauty stores and then after that I just went home and knocked out. Woke up around like 5 30 p.m. but I'm on my way out right now to have dinner with Elena. Not sure where we're going because all I asked her was do you want to go have dinner? Protest down in Korea. So if you're following the news they voted to impeach President Park Geun-hye and now there's like some kind of um, parade celebration. celebration thing going on here in Cheongwon. interesting evening. Well at dinner we went to Shabu Zen. It's kind of like hot pot but they also had a buffet area. Um, I didn't vlog in there because I was so hungry I just wanted to eat <laughs> because on the way home as you you saw in the footage they were marching celebrating. I'm assuming they were celebrating and to be here in Korea as this part of their political history is going on. Very surreal. I, I don't know what to say. I just know that I was able to witness history. It is Saturday night and I'm gonna get into my PJs. I'm gonna eat the cake which you can see right there. Yep, that cake. Hello, good afternoon. It is December 17th, 2016 and I literally woke up around 11 a.m. I haven't been vlogging much lately because I haven't been doing much. Uh, with a combination of just going to work and getting a little sick, all I want to do when I'm not working is be in bed. It's cold here in Korea right now and it's definitely something I'm not used to being from Texas and the Philippines. Any time to just stay inside, I look forward to it. But right now, I need to go to Kyobo Bookstore to see if they still have any Christmas cards because I wanted to mail some out to my family. If I mail them out Monday, hoping I don't procrastinate, they should <laughs> arrive after Christmas, maybe? I don't know. But aside from that, yeah, very chill day. I'm gonna head out because, you know, the day is almost over and I need to get out while the sun's still up. So I just had a delicious bibimbap lunch, or late lunch, because it is 1.45 p.m. right now, and I'm just walking around Sangnam, and I hear some music across the street. You can't see me because obviously the sun is like right behind me. I don't have anywhere really to go right now. It's not an event, it's just a store playing music. The area I'm walking in right now is like downtown Changwon, and I am looking for something sweet to- Whoa. It's sunny outside, and I did not bring the new sunglasses that I bought. This market thing I'm walking next to right now is called Sangnam Market. There's tons of stores and shops and whatnot. Let's go inside here. So I didn't film inside as I walked around. Look at these, all these crab. Dang, that thing is huge. It's gigantic. I passed up the ajuma that was selling fish cake. That was the something sweet I was looking for. But I kind of want hoda, which I have not seen yet as I walk around. Maybe I should just get a cup of coffee or something.
So I just spent way too much time inside like three different beauty stores looking for a specific shade of lipstick, which I did eventually find. So I went to a beauty store and they're known to give you samples when you buy something, especially big price items. I bought two big price items. There are no samples in my bag. I'm kind of pissed and sad and disappointed. Oh my god. <laughs> so I just got home from walking around. I started playing the Dance Number broadcast and they're doing the the little video of their time in the Philippines last year because last year was their first year partnering with Convoy Hope for their um, fundraiser and I'm like <laughs> I'm like so sad. Well not sad but Um, what was their term? Just watching them talk about their work in the Philippines last year with Convoy of Hope, it like hits home real hard. Not because I'm Filipino or anything, but because of my philanthropic background and wanting to help those in need who have no resources to help themselves. Oh, I'm just rambling and I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Sorry. I should find dinner or make dinner plans or something because it's that time of the yeah. evening looking for somewhere to eat right now probably gonna go back across the street over there to Sangnam I'm thinking of trying Loteria one of the things that sucks about living in a city or in my case a country you don't know anyone and what sucks about that is I don't have the go-to people that I do back home that I can just text and or call up and say hey do you have any dinner plans you want to go eat with me and those people almost always say yes two go-to people right now are my co-teachers that live with me and they both had plans tonight which sucked but whatever gonna call it a night <laughs> headed home I only wrote three cards I'm tired because freaking Mar yeah I'm calling you out brother wore me out with his drunk conversation with me on messenger tonight he knows what he said but I love you anyways it is cold and I feel like I'm not wearing enough layers for this weather I'm gonna head home call it a night and I will talk to you guys next time peace